Hi everybody, I'm Daryl Barry. I'm a ultra conservative Christian man who believed a few years ago when I decided to grow medical marijuana for my ex-mother-in-law who had cancer that the laws would actually be there to protect me. Until September 28th of 2015, I believed thoroughly in my government and the police that they were there to protect me and they were supposed to follow the law. But I found that wasn't the case. I got raided, even though I followed all of the Medical Marijuana Act laws by the T. I got raided. They took all of my stuff, handcuffed us, took my wife, my two boys, and I to jail without allowing us to make a phone call for three days. They knocked my doors in. They knocked my dog's eye out. And they proceeded to steal everything that I had. All of my TVs, my computers, our cell phones, my wallet, my, our passports, my trailers, my four-wheeler, all of our cars, everything was gone. And when I came back home to find my house was in shambles. Every door was pulled out, dumped, the drawers just thrown, everything from our closets thrown. They unscrew one piece of your vent and just bend the whole vent right over. Knock holes in your wall, take our wedding pictures, every picture and just throw it on the gr ground and break them. I get home, find out I have no vehicles. I have nothing. I have, they've seized my bank accounts. And I hadn't been convicted of nothing. As a conservative, I thought the police were actually there to protect me and follow the law. And I was probably the least of anyone who ever knew the law that civil asset forfeiture allows the police keep the money. It doesn't go to the state or the county. The police who raid you keep the money. And that is a law that has to be stricken out. And the reason the Medical Marijuana Act was even instituted and voted on heavily, the biggest <clears throat> turnout for voting in history in 2008 was because people wanted to make sure that people wouldn't be arrested for marijuana because a lot of people are just like me. They have no clue that the police get to keep the money. And when they know it, that is a law that is made and it entices corruption. We've all heard for years, police have quotas for speeding tickets because it brings in money. This brings in money and that's what it's about. <laughs> you know, That's why they don't go after meth and heroin dealers. They live in apartments. Marijuana growers, they have homes. They have assets, vehicles. I still have none of my items back. It's been over three years and I will not settle with them because they did wrong. I did nothing wrong. And that's why I am asking all of you. My name is Daryl Berry and please vote yes on Prop 1.